Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Nathan Kitchens here, and thanks for checking out your local forecast. Hope you guys had a good weekend. We certainly had some very spring-like weather. It's very warm this morning. We do have a band of some showers working through, but again, some of us did pick up locally heavier rain just on the north side of Indy last night. This morning, we're just seeing some very light showers, but these are really starting to weaken and kind of dissipate. So we're going to see a drying trend as we go throughout the course of the day today and some pretty nice weather this afternoon. Very nice weather tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about an interesting uh, forecast going into the mid and late part of this week as the winds we're picking up here as well. So let's take a look at the estimated rainfall that we have picked up over the past 24 hours. There were a few locations here on the north side especially up towards Crawfordsville. Lafayette that had some heavier rain. In fact, Attica picked up over an inch and a half of rain. Lafayette getting close to about a half inch of rain. Here in Indy, downtown, really hardly anything. You go just on the north side there in Marion County, there was nearly a half inch of rain. Areas on the south side, really nothing. And we're not complaining. We uh, certainly need some time to dry out. I know the farmers are really happy that we're kind of seeing a bit of a break in the heavier widespread rain. So again, we overall didn't see anything uh, too crazy when it comes to rainfall. And we will, for most of us, see a drier trend of weather working in today through about midweek. So let's take a look at the forecast here as we go forward through the day today. This disturbance is going to continue to start pushing its way south and east. The cold front is working through this morning. So that's going to bring in some just slightly drier air later today. And we're going to see, for most of us, a dry forecast. You can see that line of showers this morning. By the time we get to 8 a.m., you've got a few sprinkles, but that's it. And as we go throughout the mid part of the morning, after about 9 o'clock, there is really no chance of rain here in Indy. I think the chances for a few isolated showers today, Bloomington, Columbus, Seymour, even over towards Richmond and points south and east, as we go throughout the day but as you can see most areas are going to stay dry today this is as we get towards 3 p.m a couple isolated showers south and east of indy as we go towards 4 to 6 p.m a few more develop here mainly along the ohio river here so that's your best chance to see any rain this afternoon but again most locations are going to be dry after sunset those dissipate we're going to clear the skies out tonight and we're going to see some really nice weather for tomorrow so additional rainfall for most of us zero we will see a couple locations getting a tenth maybe you know a brief quarter inch of rain but you can see most locations are not going to see any more rain today so today is looking good to go for those outdoor plants overall so looking at the forecast going throughout the next couple of days again tonight we're going to be dry it's going to be a very nice night out there we'll wake up to mild temperatures tomorrow morning a little cooler than this morning thanks to some drier air tomorrow is going to be a just a great day of weather Probably the best day this week. We're going to see a good amount of sunshine. No rain really expected out there. As we go into Wednesday, we will see a cold front actually starting to drop down Tuesday night. So that's going to start dropping the temperatures, mainly in the northern half of the state. And that cold front is going to be kind of attached to a developing storm system in the western plains. And that will eventually become more of a warm front feature on Wednesday. And that will bring the chance for a few showers Wednesday, mainly in the afternoon for locations looks like north of I-70. Wednesday afternoon with this warm front feature lifting in across the area. That doesn't look to be a whole lot here Wednesday. And again, your main chance is going to be north of I-70. I think if you're south, you're going to stay dry and sunny on Wednesday. So let's take a look at the wind forecast. It was a bit breezy yesterday, but the winds today are really not going to be hardly anything out there. I mean, we'll see gust 10, maybe up to 15 miles per hour. But overall, the wind's going to be very light today. And as we go into tonight, the winds are pretty calm for a good part of the night. And I think we could actually see for a time maybe a little bit of patchy fog in some of our southeast portions of the state, kind of right in here where the winds are lighter tonight, some lingering low-level moisture. Uh, wind rot, some patchy fog in there. But notice as we go into the morning tomorrow by 5, 6 a.m., the winds are actually picking up. So if there were, is it, if there, even if there were to be any fog developing there, it would pretty quickly uh, dissipate tomorrow morning. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, definitely a bit of a breezy day tomorrow. Tomorrow. wind gust up to 20 miles per hour out of the north and that's going to drive in just, just some slightly cooler air but it's going to be just a really nice day for our day tomorrow temperatures this afternoon should warm into the lower 70s in many locations it's going to be one of the warmer days that we've had so far this spring it's going to be a great day to get outside and enjoy it here temperatures tonight drop back to the 50s and then temperatures tomorrow back to the 60s some locations to the north will be a touch cooler it's going to be just a really about a perfect pleasant spring day for today tuesday now here's where the forecast gets a little interesting midweek there's that front that i mentioned wednesday morning look at your temperatures wednesday morning a pretty good spread in the numbers from north to south here's your temperature forecast wednesday afternoon 
And this is where we have a huge spread in the numbers because look at northwest Indiana only in the low 40s Wednesday. Meanwhile, you've got temperatures in the lower 70s across southern portions of the state. Here in the middle, you're anywhere from the mid 50s north of Indy to the mid 60s south of Indy. So there's going to be a pretty big spread. Just know in those temperatures for the day Wednesday, that front kind of sets up right along the I-70 corridor. But that front's going to start to look back north as we go into Thursday. And I think Thursday is going to be the warmest day of the year. This is only the temperatures by 2 p.m. Thursday. I think we're going to be looking at mid to upper 70s across central and southern Indiana on Thursday as a very, very strong storm system is going to be impacting our weather. And that impact for us is going to be a very warm day Thursday, very windy conditions Thursday through Friday, and the chances for locally heavy rain Thursday night. So let's take a look at that system a little bit closer here. Again, we have that warm front on Wednesday, some showers north of I-70. Most of Thursday will be a dry day for most of us here. You can see the main front is to our north and off to our west. We'll see a cold front coming in Thursday night, and that will bring in a band of some showers. There will be a decent amount of moisture coming up. So I think we can actually pick up some areas of some heavier rain with this band of showers Thursday night. A few thunderstorms, some gusty winds, but it looks like the severe weather potential is going to be very low with this. The timing is just not favorable for severe weather. So some gusty winds, gusty showers, but severe weather is not really looking to be a concern at this time. And then Friday, I think we're going to start to see the rain clearing Friday morning. Friday afternoon should be dry, uh, just breezy and much, much cooler going into the end part of this week. And as we go into the weekend, Saturday looks dry. It looks like Sunday could feature a cold rain working in. And some of us may not even be, be far from seeing a chance of a few snowflakes. So pretty chilly next weekend relative to this past weekend. And next Sunday does look to be a bit of a wet day. So here's the story for midweek. We mentioned that strong storm system, which is going to bring the warmth here. It's going to bring that chance of heavy rain Thursday night. But look at areas to our north and west. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, talking about potential for one to two feet of snow with the system midweek. So just a wild week of weather setting up. Thankfully, we're missing out on the snow, but again, that system will have impacts on us midweek, and eventually we will see some cooler temperatures by the weekend. Looking at total precipitation, there could be about a half inch to an inch of rain with this band Thursday night. Not even out of the question that we could see some locally higher amounts. So that's the rainfall as we go throughout the next five days here. And looking at our temperature trends, we see a nice cool down this weekend back to the low 50s for highs possibly. So definitely a lot cooler, but we will rebound back to the 60s, well into the 60s by mid next week. That's all I have for your update today. Thank you for watching. Have a great Monday.